I joined the army, and uh, huh? I'm uh, I'm going to be in the uh, Army National Guard. So, nice. Uh, nice. Um, yeah, I'll be shipping off uh, August third, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, I'll be doing. Uh, I'll be, I'm actually a uh, 91 Mike uh, Rally Fighting Services uh, technician, which is uh, which also focuses on diesel tech too, which mm-hmm. is my primary focus. So Sounds like you've got the job out. that fits you, and oh yes, that'll help you get to where you want to go, and and you'll be able to sell a car because you'll be able to talk about it better than anybody else. <laughs> you'll be like, bro, just take this one. Trust me, I'll talk your ear off for two hours. <laughs> right, go. right, exactly. I'm from California, and I am a competitive figure skater. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, that's why I joined in Lydium, and. I am going to go to into. Uh, I'm going to be a biology major at UC Davis. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. I think you've sent videos into us, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe my mom. Did. <laughs> 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 like a thing to do right How long have you been figure skating? Um, I've been doing it for about eleven years. Oh wow! wow. <laughs> well, I'm passionate about like health and. I want to do something where I can maybe help athletes like myself in the future. Sure. With like injuries or something like that. Yeah, like injuries, nutrition, nutrition. like mm-hmm. training, anything really. Very cool. Well, I love health stuff too, so we can maybe talk afterwards. <laughs> I like to skate. Um, that's what I want to pursue, but I don't, I haven't practiced enough to like go pro or be sponsored. So I want to go into business entrepreneurship so I can own my own skate shop. That way I can pursue it in that way. Um, so that's my plan. When What's the high ski? Ski? When you say ski? What I mean like Like ice skateboard? Skate? Skateboard. Yeah. Skateboard, okay. Yeah. I'm Carmen Rosado and um, I also like to figure skate. I did that for a while. Um, COVID really kind of stopped. Tell us why you wanted to start learning piano. Um, I started piano I, I, when I was for one time, I, it was about a year or so, I had piano lessons and I kind of lost um, that connection growing up because um, we had to move. So I kind of left the piano behind, but um, I always had a musical um, thing inside of me. My name means song of praise. So there was always music, there was always music going on. So uh, I think two years ago, as I said before, I started, I saw my cousin's piano and I was like, okay, this looks really cool. I want to see if I can actually do it again. So I tried it and I was on there for hours. I mean, three days straight, I was just playing, just going at it. And then my parents saw that and they were like, you know what, you have a gift, let's get you, let's get you started. Parental so. involvement is key. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's basically how I got started and I haven't stopped. I've um, played for my community. That's something that I like to do. Um, I go to nursing homes around my city mm-hmm. and I like to play for them. Do you make up your own songs? I do sometimes and other times I, I play by ear too. So um, I get to listen to what they like to hear and then probably I'll just play along. I'll hear what they're singing or what they're doing and just go at it. <laughs> very adaptive, very yeah. ingenious. Um, musically talented to do that. So. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my name's Yule, <laughs> and um, a lot like yours. <laughs> um, I am a very musical being. <laughs> I sing and I play the drums. Cool. Hard yes. to believe. I get it. Yeah, no. <laughs> At the same time? No, I, I can, actually. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and I write a little bit of music, but um, yeah, that's really what I like to do. Um, I'm a very hands-on person. Um, I like problem solving, which is a reason why I want to be a lawyer. Uh-huh. Uh, criminal, criminal justice. Um, and anything that has to do in that sort of area. And um, why? <laughs> why? Um, I like helping people. I like solving cases, and mostly because I'm never wrong. So <laughs> that sounds like a lawyer. Right? <laughs> Quite boring. I like plants and academics. Um, yeah. Not boring. I love plants. <laughs> um, because um, yeah, you guys traveled around, right? Yeah. So okay. Okay. I like baking. What do you like to plant? Um. Well, I like taking care of houseplants, um, mm. but I also like just planting things, help pollinators. Mm. Is there anything mm. specific about the environment that you're more passionate about? Sustainability. 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 Sustain
Okay. What would be your ideal sustainable environment? What would you like to see in the world? Um, an environment where we appreciate everything that the earth gives us and because it gives us a lot but we take a lot from it so i feel like it's important to take care of it and be sustainable and stuff like that and it's not just a trend it's like you know, something that's very important so long term yeah okay name and interest please uh cushion and i like to pick small engines interesting why small engines well, a lot easier to stick a bunch in the driveway than vehicles <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> what kind Probably of Probably cheaper a little bit too. Um, do chainsaws, weed eaters, lawnmowers, generators, brush washers. Wow. Do you ever Those mix and match? Oh, I found all sorts of different things I mix, mix and match together. <laughs> What's one of those things? Oh, you take engines off of tillers and you throw them on lawnmowers and lawnmowers and you throw them on <laughs> pressure washers and you just flip everything around. And Take one part off one and throw it on a different that, Is that something one. you want to continue pursuing or is how, where do you want to kind of branch off? Um, I think I'm actually going to continue into aviation, mm -hmm. doing um, aviation maintenance, mm -hmm. working on jet engines. Working on more expensive engines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't you take Big classes engines. at a, at a local, was it a yeah. junior college or college over there in um, Seattle, right? It was a running start program mm -hmm. with the Museum of Flight and Green mm -hmm. River. Um, the aeronautical science pathway mm -hmm. kind of covers everything aviation-wise. <laughs> All right, next. <clears throat> uh, I'm Chris, I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and I like woodworking. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Tell us more about that. When did you start and what do you like to make? Um, I started, let's see, when I was 14. Yeah, so okay. I've been doing it for about four years now. Yeah. Wow. And uh, I like building tables. Very good. Very nice. Yeah. What Just style of tables? Um, I like coffee tables. Like so craftsman like, style or like more modern style? I uh, like modern. Very yeah, cool. modern tables. Yeah. Where did you learn the, the, the craft? Or did, did you have somebody in your family? Or? Uh, YouTube. Yeah, okay. <laughs> YouTube. Because wow. I mean, you have to have some equipment to do that, you know? Something. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. my family would help me like buy new equipment and stuff like that. Very good. Very nice. Um, what, how do you want to branch out from there? Um, from woodworking? Yeah. Is that what you want to continue pursuing? Is there something you want to kind of add to that or kind of... Um, well, actually, I want to go to school for engineering. Mm -hmm. um, I look towards woodworking kind of like as a guide to uh, learn how to craft things, basically. Yeah. So I can have the knowledge and like the craft spirit expertise. So you already thought you wanted to be an engineer before you... Yes. We're starting to work. <laughs> Name and interest, please. Right. I played soccer when I was a little kid. I started when I was like three. And I started taking it seriously when I was like 12, mm -hmm. 13. What does that mean you started taking it seriously at 12 or 13? What does that look like? Um, I went from playing in town to academy. Mm -hmm. And from there, I started taking the training more seriously. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started getting more offers to go overseas and to go do more things. Mm -hmm. And when I didn't play soccer, I would work with my father. Mm -hmm. uh, so now I want to be an architect. Mm -hmm. um, and when I didn't do any of those, I also skated. Okay. Um, I'm not amazing, but... <laughs> What's the coolest trick, flip trick you've done? I've done a trick flip twice. Huh. <laughs> That's cool enough. Twice, but... Well, I, can't I, can't, I can't keep doing it. I'll teach you. So. <laughs> but I can do a couple of tricks. Um, and um, basically, yeah. Tell us, tell us about your uh, pursuit of architecture. What, what interests you about that? Or where kind of would you maybe try to uh, find a niche for yourself? I like math, mm -hmm. kind of. Not, not when it has letters, <laughs> but I mean, I like solving it. Mm -hmm. And so like finding like the measurements and everything, mm -hmm. where things go. Mm -hmm. And like how it should be placed and everything, all of that. 